VFX is basically the art of creating something that isn't there or enhancing something that's already in the shot. It's usually done with a team of people, but I only have my laptop and the videos that I create. And I'm sure a lot of you can relate. So today I'm going to show you how to create some really cool VFX to make your videos stand out on YouTube. And believe it or not, it's actually a lot easier than you think. First, we're gonna create some HUD elements. After that, we're gonna jump into Fusion and track the scene accordingly. And then which comes the final step, which I'm gonna save to the end, so make sure to stick around. Now there's two ways to create titles and HUD elements. The first way is to create them from scratch. The second way is to get some pre-made templates that you can modify to make it your own. Now creating them yourself is a very time consuming thing. So we're gonna do it the other way and find some pre-made templates. Now there's this website called Envato Elements. They have stock video or video templates for DaVinci Resolve like titles and transitions and intros. They have music and sound effects. Ridiculous. Which are incredible. I've been using them on all of my previous videos. So if you're a creator like myself, make sure to check the link down in the description. This is the ultimate go-to for all your filmmaking needs. When you use these video templates that they provide, it will take your videos from looking amateur to looking next level very easily. Say you and your friends go to a new destination. And I'm here with my friend Mari. <laughs> and you want to film some wide, medium, and tight shots. With my thought process right now, I want to have like a good establishing shot of Mari in this awesome, beautiful location, but I'm going to film it and think about adding some visual effects, like putting the location above her while she's walking towards the mountain. I'm just kind of forward thinking about what I'm going to be doing in post-process. If you guys want to download this clip and follow along, the link is down in the description. So make sure to download that, and then here we go. Now, if you haven't already, click the link down in the description to quickly make an account with Envato. And you can sign up for a month or annual subscription. I highly suggest the annual since there's so much on this website. So then hover over to Video Templates and scroll down to DaVinci Resolve. What I like to do is click on this drop down and see if there's any new templates or anything cool because they update this thing daily. So I always love seeing if there's any new additions that I can use. And who knows, maybe if you use these enough in your videos, they'll reach out to you and offer to sponsor your video like they did for me in this one. I'm gonna search up here for Techno HUD. I'm gonna use this Techno HD Titles 4K. I'm gonna click download, select the project that I wanna use it for. If you haven't already, create a new project, then click add and download. Then come to DaVinci Resolve, click on file, select Project Manager. Right-click in the Project Manager and select Restore Project Archive. Go to your Downloads folder, double-click on the HUD folder, double-click on the Techno LUTs, and then go ahead and select Open. Click OK. Then double-click on that project. I'm gonna come over here and click on my Timeline View option so I can see that we're under the Render tab. So now I'm gonna go up to the Media Pool, select Render. So double-clicking on any of these will open it up and you can see what the HUD element looks like. So I'm gonna use this Cyberpunk one. So under the edit tab, I'm going to click on edit and I want to edit the text. So if I come under edit title placeholder number five, double click on it, I can click on the text and add the location, which is Aspen, Colorado. So once you change it to your location or whatever text you want, you can come over here to element number five and see that it's rendered out with the title. Now, if you want to change the colors, you can come up here to edit, edit colors element of number five, double click on it. And over here, you can change the colors of pretty much anything. So we can change these to orange. Then you can click on text, change the purple to orange once again. And there we go. But I actually want to change it to red because she's got a yellow shirt on. So I want to do yellow and red. So I'm going to come through here and just change these back to red, change the blue to yellow. Sweet. It's looking fresh. So once you've customized it to your personal unique taste, we want to export just the graphic. We don't want to have the black background. So let's go ahead and click on the deliver icon. Then rename it. I renamed mine HUD example. Then I chose my desktop for the location of where I want to save it. Under format, go ahead and click on MP4 and scroll down to QuickTime. Then under the Kodak, scroll down until you see GoPro Synform. Click on that one. Then under type, select the RGB 16 bit. Then once you've done that, select export alpha, select add to render queue, select render all, then select file, then select project manager, go into your project. Import this clip if you haven't already. Once you've imported it, right click on that clip, select new fusion clip, then select fusion. Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in camera, and then select the camera tracker. 
Then select bidirectional tracking and then click on auto track. Up here on the solve tab, select solve. Then what you can do is select the button solve. We have an average solve error of 2.6 pixels. We want to try to get that down to under 0.9. The easiest way to do that is select track satisfying filters. Go ahead and click on that. Down here it shows 883 of the 2100 are selected that are bad, basically. So go ahead and click on delete, then click solve again. Now we have 0 0.3720, perfect. Then you want to scrub through the clip right about to this point. Then on the right hand side, click on the export. Click on the drop down 3D scene transform. Select unaligned. Then I'm going to select a few points of where I want the HUD element to pop up in the 3D space. Under origin, select set from selection. Then click on aligned. Then click on export. That exports our camera tracking data. Go ahead and select the camera tracker node that we had. Delete it. Disconnect the media in from the media out and connect the camera tracker render node to the media out. Delete the point cloud and the ground plane. Next, click on the image plane icon. Connect the output of that to the merge 3D. And now as you can see that image plane is attached to the dots that we pre-selected. Go ahead and find the HUD element export that we created and then drag it into the node graph. Connect the output to the input of the image plane. With the image plane selected, come up here to the transform tool, adjust the X, Y, and Z axis to put the HUD element anywhere you want in the shot. And if you want to adjust the scale of the actual HUD element, you can turn up the scale down below. In order to change when the actual HUD element pops up, you can select the media in two and select the frame that you want the initial start of the clip to happen. So I'm on frame 81. With the media in two selected, I'm going to come up here to the global in and out and click on this first dot and I'm gonna bring it up to about 79, close enough. Then I'm going to click on the trim mode and drag this all the way back. So now, we have the start of that HUD element actually playing right at the exact moment that we want it to. Now let's take this a step further. Let's go ahead and go back to Envato, click on stock video, and click on stock footage. Type in particles. As you can see, they've got a million different options for particles, so find one that you really like and then go ahead and download it. I've already downloaded one that I like, so I'm gonna come up here to my media pool, click on the eyeglass tool and type in particles. I'm gonna go ahead and drag in particles number one. And I'm going to copy and paste this image plane, or you can add a new one, whatever you wanna do. Go ahead and connect that new image plane to the Merge 3D, and then connect the output of the particles to the image plane. Then with the image plane selected, come up here to the material, turn the alpha all the way down, and bring it up to 0 0.001. With the particles selected, Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in brightness. Go ahead and turn up the gain on the brightness so you can see the particles. We don't want any weird pixelization or distortion because the image planes are identical. So let's just go ahead, come up here to the transform under the image plane for the particles and move the Z axis back just a tiny amount. Now here's my secret. So now with the media in two selected, which is the HUD element, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in glow. Select the glow option. Now, what I really like to do is kind of turn up the glow size. And if you adjust the glow here, you can adjust this to being ridiculous. So I'm just gonna kind of turn this down a little bit and it really adds some flavor. If you wanna add some color, you can come under the color scale and change this to whatever you basically want. I'm going to copy and paste the glow node. So I'm gonna hold down Alt or Option on your keyboard, push C, click anywhere over here in the node viewer, Command V, and then hold down shift and drag it in between these two nodes so it automatically connects. Now I'm gonna zoom into the particles and under the glow option, I'm going to turn down the red scale and turn up the blue scale just a tiny amount. Then I'm going to adjust the glow parameters until I get something that I really like. Then let's go ahead and click on the edit tab. I'm gonna come back to Envato and then select sound effects. I'm gonna type in glitch you can download whatever you want here that sounds cool. Most of them are incredible, so you can't go wrong. In my media pool, I'm gonna type in glitch because I've already installed and used a few glitch sound effects and drag it in to the point where I see the title kind of pop up. 
I'm going to drag in a few more just because it opens and closes. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. I will see you guys in my next video.